Hello, everyone, and welcome to Make a Buzz Ottawa 2020, the Live, Work, Play 25th anniversary celebration. I hope you're all settled in with a beverage and some snacks, ready to enjoy the show. There are hundreds of people here, so your audio is muted because it sounds pretty awful if 200 people are talking at the same time. Your audio is muted, but we're recording everything, so don't feel like you can't participate. For example, if you like something, you can give a thumbs up. Or, as some people did, two thumbs up. You could clap to the left. You could clap to the right. You could raise the roof. You could make a heart. You can even do the Arsenio. And you can definitely smile and laugh. <laughs> Next up, I've got a thank you to our major sponsors. Then we have a quick message from Sam Lamprad at News 1310. So let's use those quick segments to practice our on-screen thumbs up and applause. After Sam, the show begins with a rendition of O Canada. Please note that for Zoom events like this, remaining seated during the national anthem is just fine, but please remove your hat. And if you like, you can place your hand on your heart or you can make a heart with your hands. But we ask that you not leave your screen during the anthem as we have included O Canada tonight as a tribute to all of our first responders, the people of Nova Scotia, our military and frontline workers. All right, on with the show. Hi, I'm Sam Laprade from 1310 News, and I'm so happy to be talking about Live, Work, Play today. It has certainly been a different year this year, and although I wish I was with you at Make a Buzz Ottawa at St. Anthony's Hall, I love the fact you've all come together at Live, Work, Play to be stronger together. I wanted to also say congratulations to so many of the hosts of the past, including Derek Fage and Sandy Sharkey. Uh, Derek and Sandy have done it a couple of times together. And then, of course, Dylan Black joined you as well. And comedian Graham Kay was there too. And uh, I hope to be with you uh, sometime soon, maybe 2021. Uh, thank you all for sharing your gifts and your talents. It has been my honor to uh, get to know you at Live, Work, Play. And this Ottawa community loves you so much. Stay strong, everybody, and stay safe. There isn't time to thank all our generous supporters, but I want to take a moment to thank our major sponsors, Glenville Jones, Barry Marjorie Weller, Udak K Family, Via Rail Canada, Quick and Convenience Stores Community Foundation, Pylon Electronics, Kwai Baninin, WestJet, and the Moore Family. Thank you for making Make a Buzz a success.
I'd like to do a quick thank you to the community partners. I'm Grace Hudson, the team lead for Community Connector team. I've been with Live or Play for 15 years, and I'd like to take this opportunity to share with the Make a Buzz 2020 audience our thanks to community partners. I won't be able to list them all, but here are a few. Meals on Wheels Ottawa, Center Town Citizens Ottawa, Multi-Faith Housing, Nepean Housing, Ottawa Tool Library, Parkdale Food Center, Money Wise at Ottawa Booth Center, St. Anthony's Banquet Hall, and the Pearly Rideau Health Center. Thank you. Hi everyone. For those that don't know me, I'm Alex Darling, People Connector and Volunteer Coordinator for the past eight years. And I wanted to take this opportunity to thank all of our incredible volunteers, past and present. While we celebrated our volunteer team on social media a couple weeks ago for National Volunteer Week, I just wanted to give everyone tuning in for Make a Buzz a quick update about our volunteer team. Currently, we have 153 volunteers, which is up 11% from last year. 68 of those do Friday nights, and we have 85 one-on-one -on -one matches. Some volunteers even do both. Friday night volunteers collectively have done 6,630 hours this past year, and matches have done 4,420. Retention-wise, most Friday night volunteers stay connected with Live Work Play for 1.6 years, while matches tend to stay connected for an average of three years. This is truly amazing, and we couldn't do the work we do and have the wonderful community that we do without you. We are so grateful. Cheers to volunteers. Good evening, everyone. My name is Anna Nelson, and I'm the team lead with the employment team here at Live Work Play. I've been with the organization for just over three years, and I'm super excited to be part of such a wonderful team and wonderful organization. I want to take this opportunity to update everybody here at Make a Buzz 2020 with some stats from our employment team over the past year. We are supporting 200 members, actively involved with 140 workplaces. We have secured 69 new jobs over the past year and are also working to maintain 110 jobs from previous years as well. We are working hard with employees to help them develop more inclusive practices for all their employees and seeing great results with this as well. It is a challenging time right now for sure, but we continue to stay connected to our employers and their employees. And we are also looking forward to when the job market gets back on track and connecting more people to workplaces then as well. Thank you all for coming tonight. Have a wonderful evening. Stay well, stay healthy, and stay connected. Hi there, everyone. Jen Susi here, Manager of Employer Partnerships, and I've been with the organization now for 14 years. Building on Anna's comments, I just want to take this opportunity to thank the Employment Task Force and the Federal Employment Strategy Group volunteers. We've been so fortunate to have your support over the years and without all of you, we wouldn't have reached all of our amazing employment milestones, such as 100 jobs with the federal government this past January. We now have had the unique and distinct pleasure to support jobs for members with intellectual disabilities and autism in 34 Canadian departments and agencies, something that has never been done before and we are so very proud of. I would also like to thank all of our private sector employers for your years of support and for helping so many of our members achieve such a meaningful opportunity to fully participate and be included in our communities. Thank you to Shopify, TD Bank, Parliament Cleaning, The Works, Pita Pit, Welch Accounting, the list goes on and on and I'm sorry I can't mention you all by name tonight, but from the bottom of our hearts, thank you. For all of those business owners, managers, heads of HR, coworkers, we want to let you know that we are thinking of all of you during this difficult time and we will continue to be here to support you now and into the future.